Blending maps with the Corona layer material is easier than you think. Let me show you how to create complex materials fast. First, we're going to start an interactive render so we can see all the changes in real time. I already have a simple brick material applied to this wall. Now, let's say that I want to add a paint effect. To do that, we are going to use the Corona layer material. Go to the material editor, then head to the material, Corona, Corona layer material, and assign it to your object you will see a little warning that says the base material is empty. Just connect your main material, in this case the brick, to the base material slot. Now, let's add a second material on top. This will be our paint layer. Connect it to the layer 1, and as soon as you do, you will notice the paint completely covers the bricks. But we don't want that. We want it to show only in certain areas. This is where we use mask. We're going to use a black and white texture as a mask. White areas show the top layer, in this case the paint. Black areas reveal the base layer. Gray areas will blend the two. For the mask, I'm going to use a Corona Color Correct to adjust the brightness, contrast, and gamma. That way, I can take any texture, like a displacement map or ambient occlusion, and fine-tune exactly where the paint appears. Once we add that into the mask one, you will see the paint showing only on some of the bricks. One of the cool things about this is how easy it is to tweak. If I want more or fewer bricks to show in the paint, I just need to adjust the values of the Corona Color Correct. Also, inside the layer material, you can control the weight of each layer or mask. Lowering the layer weight makes the layer more transparent. Lowering the mask weight pushes the mask closer to pure white, which affects how the blend works. It could reduce the masking effects and show more of the layer overall. There's also a section for displacement control. We have three options. Blend all layers, which is the default. This mixes displacement maps from the base material and all the active layers. Only from base material. This ignores any displacement from the top layers. Only the base material displacement is used. Add all layers. Adds all the displacement maps together. This gives a more intense result since all the heights are stacked together. You can use this setup for a ton of effects, like peeling paint over wood, frost over metal, or anything that needs more than one material showing through. Now, just a heads up, using several materials inside one layer material can slow down your render, especially if the shaders are heavy. So, if you need a basic material, it might be better to stick with a single Corona physical material or use a Corona decal for adding small details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.